And Ayaka Budaway looking for a fourth straight birdie like Maya Stark. She just made one of similar length on the previous hole. So both Stark and Budaway won during the LPGA's swing through Europe. Ayaka in Scotland as we take you out to the ninth and one of our leaders. Food away on the tee. This tee shot, Tom, is quite tight. You have out of bounds left for trees and a bunker down the right, and she has split the middle. Yeah, there are some strategic tee shots here that can be tight. Over to nine again and food away. This is from just 146, and the advantage of playing from the fairway, it's wide open green, and she's produced a good shot. Yeah, middle of the green, nicely done. Well judged for distance. Oh, it moved more than she thought. There are some subtle breaks on these greens. There are some greens with uh, some undulation. You think of the two tiers at the 13th. 17 has a lot of movement, but there are some greens that look fairly flat. And those ones sometimes are the toughest ones to read. Like I said, into the wind and the soft green, you can throw it at this flag. Well, maybe not soft on that top level. Kind of like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Just so quick. I mean. That even still released another three, four feet more than it looked like it was going to. She's looking at the spot that she wants to get the ball to roll over. That's what she's doing. And I think that's a very good oh, place to think about what you want to do with your putter. Keeps it very simple and keeps it a lot closer to where the actual putter face is. Uh, which isn't going to help with that hole location that you're talking about because it's downwind, it's tougher to stop. She's got a good bit of height on this one though, but it's coming in hot. It just stays about there. It's going to be fine. It's very difficult to get it close. Back down the hill. Yeah, I don't think one. That was a putt that she could get. You have to think, Morgan, that sometimes taking it back to the basics and keeping it simple is some, sometimes the best thing to do. Well, it is amazing, Karen, how when you play week in, week out, it is easy for your alignment to just be off a touch or maybe your grip a touch. And those can change just about everything in your game with the tiniest little. Third at 12th for food away. And this is from 99 yards. Wind off the left helping. I stopped quick. Helps being from the fairway. When I was right, right behind the hole, it looked like it was going to the right. Yeah, players keep expecting it to come back at the end, Karen, but it just doesn't quite as much as they think. Sneaky greens out here. That'll please Jim Myers. Back on the 13th, yeah, threw it away for a birdie. It's a long range, but for her, not too bad. Quite high enough. She so will stay in a tie for the lead at 12 under par. She's been very, very close. Could this be the week she gets it done? Boot away, second at 14. From 90 yards, and the green does slope back towards the players. At the front half of the screen, I think that's why you're seeing the players stop more games that wind and on that slope there. Yeah, and it's playing as one of the, the fourth easiest hole on the golf course today. But of the, of the players, I mean, her putting has looked really solid. I love her putting stroke, Karen. There you go. Same distance back and through every time. Very efficient. No movement of her head or her lower body. Well, Tom, with the flag down that right side today, you can't afford to miss your tee shot even down the right half of this fairway, and this one's going to be great. Yeah, I mean, Karen, her game is set up absolutely perfectly for this golf course. Now, food away with her second at the 15th. And this is from only 139, and as good an angle as you can get, but this one is drawing away from the flag. Yeah, that's part, so she's going to have a long birdie part trying to get that speed dialed in. Wonderful shot there from Hannah Green as she tries to edge ahead 
of Fudaway. Both of those players tied for the lead. Um, but this one's a bit of a roller coaster. It's going to go downhill at first and then back uphill towards the hole. I should give that a big wrap. That took a lot of pace to get there. Well done. How good has her distance control been? been just superb. I think it's because of her really efficient stroke, Karen. I mean, it's just no, she uses all of her arms and no hands in the stroke. That makes it much easier to control distance. Tied for the lead at 13 under. Ayaka Fudue at 16. Well, Fudue likes to hit a draw and with this right flag, it's going to be tough for her to get close to and still good and safe play there. I don't think the middle of the green on 16 ever is really going to put you in a lot of trouble. This one should be fairly speedy. She knew it, didn't she? Yeah, it's just cautious with it. Don't blame her, especially after seeing Hannah's roll on so far. Clearly works. <laughs> yes, it has. Um, the speed control has been great. The, the short putts have been good. Just looks solid all around. I mean, the putter looks so comfy in her hands. <laughs> This has always been a really tough tee shot, Tom. You've got a bunker down the left that the longer players can get into. Trees and then a penalty area out to the right, but no problem for Uwe. Yeah, Ronin Yin just hit one in the penalty area. Which will make it difficult and uncomfortable to keep it on that middle tier. And this is going at the flag, but it's drawing. Now it's hit the bottom slope. Six foot left of the hole for a line. Oh, even more than that. And there it is, Karen, just picking up pace as it makes that near right turn. Just a hair of right to left break here, Tom. Just be aggressive with this one. Yeah, like that. So Fudaway stays at 13 under par. Then it is Ayaka Fudaway hasn't missed a fairway all day. No, and uh, the difficulty here is that the right does pinch in. There's a bunker down there, and this is going to have to hold on to avoid missing a fairway. All right, do we have a, we have a missed fairway here for food away? I mean, only by a couple of inches. This is from 125. There's a back into the wind off of the upslope. Just creeps on. Just a hair of a push. Still a good position for Paula. She was coming from off the pace. 